Good morning, all of you. <clears throat> Good morning, sir. Uh, let's start with the last point of this unit. Okay, that is the uh, different another way of uh, knowledge representation. <clears throat> now, up till now, already we have discussed uh, in case of uh, artificial intelligence. the ai agent need to uh, perform the activity just like the human being just like the human being thinks decide <clears throat> take the decision work okay do the planning etc so you know to uh, do all these kind of things by the ai agent uh, we are taking the help of the knowledge base and the inference engine okay and so the in the knowledge base of that ai agent also the knowledge need to be represented in certain <clears throat> form okay in certain uh, what we can say with uh, with the help of certain logic and with the help of the certain uh, syntax and for that purpose we take the help of the different kind of uh, knowledge representation okay and here already we have discuss uh, other different kind of knowledge representation way like before this already we have discussed the proposition logic which is also one of the way of knowledge representation then also we have discussed the first order logic using which also you can uh, represent and uh, represent the uh, knowledge okay and today we are going to going to discuss this uh, uh, another three different way of the knowledge representation which generally being uh, asked in the exam for the four marks okay so in that let's see the okay first in that uh, because first two already we have discussed uh, the proposition logic and the formal logic uh, already we have discussed okay first order logic in that <clears throat> which is also called as the first order predicate logic that already we have discussed now <clears throat> next is the conceptual dependency okay that today we are going to discuss now in in case of the natural language okay natural language in the sense whatever the language being uh, spoken by us like hindi marathi english etc okay now conceptual dependency being uh, utilized uh, for the purpose of uh, uh, representing such kind of natural language okay and uh, it is used to represent the natural language in such a way that uh there can be a particular inference or the conclusion can be made from the given sentences okay and what exactly being happen in the conceptual conceptual dependency if there are the certain set of the sentences are given okay we will try to reduce that sentences okay and we will try to reduce that sentences in such a way that uh, we can get the some kind of meaning out of that sentences okay and this particular concept is then considered as or called as a conceptual dependency what you have to keep in mind if there is a sentence certain sentence is given one or two sentences then we will try to write that sentence in some another form okay with the help of the some of the primitives or with the help of the some of the uh, conceptual structure okay and from that there should be a some kind of inference or the conclusion can be made okay now in order to do the conceptual dependency representation we have to use the different kind of primitives okay we have to use the different kind of primitives if you remember these primitives then only you can write the conceptual dependency representation of certain particular knowledge now these primitives are certainly uh, different kind of words or you can consider this primitive in case of the conceptual dependency are like some kind of the keyword okay and when you utilize these uh, different kind of primitives and then with the help of that primitives uh, we can get the meaning of that particular certain words okay so when you see the examples then you will understand the clear point what exactly it is 
so in case of the conceptual dependency uh, the particular elements that we are going to utilize okay for the knowledge representation that particular elements are being considered as the conceptual structures okay that elements are called as what the conceptual structures and we will form that conceptual structure uh, with the help of the different kind of primitives okay so if if we have given the certain for example two sentences which are having the identical meaning then what the conceptual dependency says we must have the only one representation of that particular two sentences understood and how we can achieve this we can achieve this with the help of the utilization of certain set of the primitives okay keep this statement in mind what exactly the conceptual dependency is if suppose there are the certain sentences are having the identical kind of meaning then we must use the only one representation for this certain set of the sentences and how this is possible this is possible with the help of the utilization of the certain kind of primitives okay let's move toward the example before the example before we see the example of conceptual dependency and what exactly it is we must first understand the certain set of the primitives with the help of the primitives with the help of the primitives only we can represent the knowledge in case of the conceptual dependence okay let's uh, go through the primitives here these are the typical set of primitive action being utilized in the conceptual dependency now in that first we have a trans okay now this a trans stands for the abstract transfer of something what abstract transfer of something here i have written a trans primitive indicate transfer of the abstract relationship now suppose in the english language we have this this kind of words generally we utilize give gave to take like this kind of words now for example uh, if i say uh, i i give book to a student what i give book to a student and suppose this sentence i uh, i write in the or i speak in the different way like student take book from me okay are all of you are listening this yes yes sir first sir. sentence what yes, i said sir. i give book to student okay if you have notebook you can write this sentence i give book to student and i uh, made the another statement student take book from me getting now can you tell me both of these sentences are nothing but the kind of uh, identical things indicating yes sir both of the statements are having the same meaning yes or no yes sir yes, Now, yes sir in this statement there is a transfer of something happening correct there is a transfer relationship is there and transfer relationship is related with what something is getting transfer from from one particular person to another yes or no yes sir what is yes, the transfer here in the in the given example that i am telling you what example i told you i give book to student and book. second statement i made student take book from me so here transfer of what is happening transfer of book is happening yes or no yes, yes sir. sir book as one object now what the conceptual dependency says for these two sentences which are having the identical meaning we should utilize the representation in such a way that with the help of the only one sentence we can represent these two sentences is it possible yes or no yeah with the help of the possible. certain primitives as both the statements are having the same meaning is it possible to represent it with the help of the same one particular sentence instead of two sentences yes sir and this representation in order to do that particular kind of representation there is a utilization of the primitives which is nothing but this primitives a trans stands for abstract transfer of certain object or the abstract transfer of certain 
uh, what we can say certain things understood now a trans is the primitive when there is a when we write when you represent the knowledge with the help of the conceptual dependency now in order to represent that knowledge with the help of with the help of the conceptual dependency you should remember all these kind of the primitives all of you are getting and for what purpose these primitives are utilized for example first primitive a trans now when you can use the a trans primitive for knowledge representation when there are the certain kind of words are there in your natural language sentences which kind of words give take to gave for this kind of words you can utilize the primitive action a trans understood the first primitives yes sir then there is another primitive that is the p trans now p trans stands for transfer of physical location of object what transfer of physical location of object now in which case you can utilize this primitive action when there when in the natural language sentences there are the words like go went like this kind of words gone okay when these kind of words are there in the natural language sentences like go went gone etc where there is a transfer of physical location of object now object you can consider the human being anything can be the object understood when there is a certain kinds of words are utilized in the natural language now in order to represent that there is a utilization of the primitive action that is the p trans getting the point yes p trans yes sir yes sir physical transfer of something something in the sense some object or etc then another primitive action is there propel now what do you mean by the propel can anybody tell me in english what is the meaning of propel propel in the sense pushing something or pulling something so propel indicates the when you apply some physical force to the object what when you apply the physical force to an object that considered as a propel when i when you push the bench what when you push the bench or when you pull the bench okay suppose if you said the sentence uh, xyz student push the table okay and if i made the another statement xyz student pull the table understood here which two words are utilized push and pull push and pull so instead of these two sentences that i have made we can write these two sentences as a one sentence only and in that one sentence only which primitive action you have to write propel getting means for these two words you can utilize only one that only one word that is the propel correct yes sir so that is the third primitive action propel then next we have the move instead of propel we can also utilize the move okay movement of the now specifically move is utilized for the movement of the body parts by its owner okay movement of the body parts by its owner where if there is a words like the push pull then you can also utilize their move primitive action then another primitive action is their grasp grasp means of grasp means what ऑर्डर ऑर्डर को नहीं ऑर्डर दिली तर ती फॉलो कराई जी नो ग्रास्पिंग मींस व्हाट ग्रास्पिंग ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट बाय एक्टर नाउ दिस वर्ड इज हैविंग द सम सम डिफरेंट मीनिंग हियर ग्रास सपोज इफ यू थ्रो द बॉल इफ यू थ्रो द स्टोन एटसेट्रा एटसेट्रा इफ देयर इज अ यूटिलाइजेशन ऑफ वर्ड लाइक थ्रो ओके थ्रो और यू कैन आल्सो सी द कैच ओके that in in case of that kind of words there is utilization of the primitive action that is the grasp okay which stands for the grasping of an object by an actor okay now next important word is the ingest ingest means what ingesting in english what do you mean by the ingest ingest means gene 
गिरणे विच इज वॉट यू कैन से मेकिंग एंट्री इन युअर बॉडी येस और नो दैट इज नथिंग बट द इंजेक्ट इंजेस्टिंग इंजेस्टिंग ऑफ एन ऑब्जेक्ट बाय द एनिमल और ह्यूमन बींग एटसेट्रा सपोज इन इंग्लिश नैचुरल लैंग्वेज यू यूज द वर्ड लाइक ईट ड्रिंक एटसेट्रा एटसेट्रा if there is a certain kind of words are there now you know to represent this word you can utilize the single word that is the ingest getting here only i have used the two kind of words as a example anything which is coming coming inside of our body that can be represented with the help of the primitive action that is the ingest getting uh, getting this yes sir yes sir okay that is the ingest Again, next we have expel. Now, expel is the opposite to the word ingest. Okay, something which is coming out of your body, expulsion of something from the body of an animal. That is called as a expel. Suppose you are sweating, something is coming out of your body. Yes or no? Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Suppose you are crying, something is coming out of uh, some of the organs of your body. Yes or no? Yes, sir. So for this kind of words, where there is a something expulsion of something from the body of animal. Now, you know, for you know, to represent this kind of words, there is utilization of the primitive action that is the expel. Understood. Next. we have the m trans m trans now m trans stands for the mental transfer what m trans trans for the mental transfer now transfer of the mental information now some suppose in their uh, natural language there are the words like tail see okay if x y z person telling something to the another a b c uh, person telling seeing observing okay is these are nothing but the transfer of mental information yes or no yes sir now so this if this kind of words are there then this kind of for this kind of words there is a primitive action being utilized that is the m trans for the knowledge representation according to the conceptual dependency okay then there is a m build that stands for the mental build building new information out of the old information in our brain is this thing happening or not yes yes sir yes sir does our brain able to build the new information from the old information yes sir yes sir how we do this when you decide when you think when you are planning when such kind of natural language words are there for that kind of natural language words there is utilization of the primitive that is m build understood this one yes sir mental, yes. mental build and last one is there that is the attend focusing focusing of sense organs towards the stimulus where this kind of primitive is utilized when your sense organs are focusing on some stimulus like when you are seeing something when you are listening something or if somebody pinch you pinch manje kay chimta gene chimta gatne ha tar tumcha you your your uh, what you can say your sense of organs is direct when somebody pinch you that is nothing but the kind of stimulus for you yes or no yes sir so when you are focusing on that that kind of uh, uh, that kind of focusing if there if that kind of focusing kind of words are being there in the natural language which which include the word like see listen pinching etc etc whatever natural language words are there which is having this kind of which is having this kind of what we can say uh, final result focusing of the sense organ towards the stimulus then for that all the kind of words there is a single primitive action being utilized that is the attend attend now this is word primitive word is taken from the word attention barobar na 
our sense organs attend that particular things like when you are seeing something when you are listening something getting so for all that kind of words there is a primitive action being utilized that is called as a attend understood this one yes sir and now we, with the help of the utilization of all this primitive action the we can represent the knowledge by utilizing the conceptual dependence okay that's why i'm saying if you want to represent the knowledge with the help of the conceptual dependency then you must remember all these kind of <coughs> primitive action okay now see <coughs> example then the idea will be more clear same example we carry on suppose if i made the statement or there is a any natural language sentence like man took a book from someone or you can see if there is a simply statement man to man took a book okay so he he can he can took a book from someone only understood so man took a book from someone okay now this word now which primitive action can be utilized for this uh, sentence <clears throat> man took a book from someone a trans a trans because there is a transfer of some some particular kind of relation or relationship or the object now how these things how this sentence is represented as a part of the conceptual dependency so this is being represented like this so first we write the actor now here man is considered as a one actor correct then we utilize the double arrow okay and then we write the primitive action then again we utilize the single arrow if there is a dependency and then next we write the relation like this see what being written here now this what exactly meaning of this double arrow now this double arrow indicates what now what is our statements man took a book now took is what Took is the word generated from which original word? Take. Take means took is a past tense of something. Yes. So man. Now this double arrow, double arrow, and more this double arrow. I represent it as a P. P stands for the past tense. What? Past tense. Past tense. And this double arrow indicate the abstract relationship. Abstract relationship between what and what? Man and somebody else. getting yes sir and over this you have to write this primitive action a trans because there is a physical there is a transfer of some some object from one particular person to another then you we write the book book is what now in this sentence object object so here we have to write it as o object relationship yes okay and here here you have to show the relationship like now object is getting transfer from whom to whom one person to another person manje ya statement madhe book is getting transfer from someone to man yes so this is being written like this someone relationship with the man yes now this is nothing but the now this particular whole thing is called as the conceptual structure getting this is nothing but yes, your sir. conceptual structure okay where you have utilized the primitive action to represent this particular sentence now see this another statement is here i gave book to man same example we are discussing here the, the, in the starting of this concept you are uh, discussing i gave book to man now who is the actor here i i is the actor and another is the man so i yes double arrow ata bhi to baka apan kay use kele gave gave to past tense past tense and here this primitive action you have to utilize instead of gave give to take we have to utilize this primitive action that is the a trans understood and book as yes, object sir. and this part i the relation between the i and the man now can you tell me in this two sentence representation this one and this one what is changing
Yes. What is changing? Relation. Relation. First, man is a. Only the actor actors are changing. Yes. Only the actors are changing, and you can see rest of the things are as it is. Yes or no? Only the actors are changing, yes. and rest of the things are yes. as it is, and that is yes. the reason I I am saying if there are the certain sentences which are having the identical meaning, then we can represent these sentences with the help of the primitive action, with the help of the only the single kind of representation. So this is nothing but the kind of what we can say single kind of representation for this kind of for these two sentences. Getting. Yes. So we never, if there are certain kinds of words are there in the natural language, then these words are being always referred by or represented by these kind of primitive. This is the sample example just I have taken. Understood? Yes, sir. And this is nothing but the concept of conceptual dependence. Getting. Now here I forget to tell you this single arrow. What is the meaning of this single arrow? Single arrow indicate the dependency. What single arrow indicate what the dependency? Dependence. Okay, so there is a dependency of there is a dependency of the book. Okay, between this relationship of the man and someone. Understood. So this single arrow indicate the dependency relationship. Now same things I have written here just that we have discussed. Okay. Like uh, same uh, example, I have mentioned here. He, I gave a, I gave the book, I gave the man a book. This can be also represented in the similar way. I gave the book, man. I gave the man a book. Now this is also also the another sentence. Yes or no? Yes, sir. But its meaning is also identical with the previous two sentences. Yes or no? Yes. Sir. So this can be also represented here in the similar way with the help of the primitives. I a trans book. And this relationship. So here, arrow indicate the direction of the dependency. There is a dependency from what we can say here. In case of this, there is a dependency from uh, this this direction. Okay. Double arrow indicate the two uh, link between the actor. Okay. Link between the two different actor as a relationship. P indicate the past tense. Then a trans is one of the primitive which we have discussed. It indicate the transfer of possession, transfer of something from one person to the another person, and o indicate the object case relation. O stands for the what? Object case relation. This one. Okay. So this is nothing but the uh, what you can say the conceptual dependency. And here R also indicate the recipient case relation. So here, who is the recipient, and who is the sender? If you if you try to think in that way, who is the sender and who is the recipient? I is the sender I and the, I is the sender is the and the uh, man is the man is recipient. recipient. So here R stands for the recipient case relation. Okay. So this is the point of the conceptual dependency. Now, number of times it is being asked for the Uh, four marks. So, with the certain example, or it might be have, it might be happen. You will be given certain kind of sentences. Okay, you you might be given certain kind of sentences, and you will be asked to write the conceptual dependency, or you will be asked to represent that using the conceptual dependency. So, in order to represent that, the thing you should remember is nothing but these kind of different primitives. Understood. So, statement can be related with the anything. and uh, you have to utilize this primitive and you have to uh, represent that knowledge okay let's see the next one in the knowledge representation that is the uh, semantic network okay semantic network is the another way of representation of knowledge okay now what exactly this semantic network is now there is another possible way of knowledge representation that is nothing but the graphical way is it possible to represent the knowledge using the graphical way also yes sir and semantic network is the same where we can store our knowledge in the form of the graph now for your kind knowledge with the help of the prop with the, 
with the help of the pro programming the graphical things can be easily stored okay and it is the most easiest way to store the graphic uh, to store the knowledge with the help of the graphs and represent that using some programming language so semantic network is nothing but the storing of our knowledge in the form of the graphs or representation of knowledge in the form of the graphs a uh, where in that you know the graph consists of the different nodes nodes representing the objects okay what what nodes represent anything 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 as a object in the world and uh, the edges or the arrow representing the relationship between these objects what arrow indicating or representing what the relationship between these objects okay let's see the example for more uh, clear so this is the example this is the example given in the ask in the uh, exam also number of times these are the statements are given these are the different statements are given and we have to we have to this now this sentences are given means these are nothing but the real world facts yes or no yes sir this is nothing but the kind of knowledge now this this we have to represent with the help of the semantic network okay then let's see how it can be done okay yes all of you can properly see it yes sir here is the first fact is given tom is a cat what tom is a cat now what is cat. the object here tom is the object and cat is also the object yes or no yes sir so this is being written like this tom is a cat so is the which relationship is there is the relationship okay second tom caught a bird so tom is a object tom caught caught a bird. relationship yes then tom is owned by john now relationship is what here is own tom is own by john john then third one the next one tom is ginger in color what tom is ginger in color now here relationship is what is color yes or no yes, relationship sir. is what color is the relationship yes or no so yes, tom sir. is tom the so tom color is what ginger so ginger become the object and color become the relationship yes or no color is the relationship or the ginger is the relationship color is the relationship so here on the arrow you have to mention the relationship so tom is ginger in color then cat like cream now already we have created the object cat yes here cat like cream cream then the cat sat on the mat <clears throat> well, already we have the cat relationship is what sat sat on sitting cat <laughs> sat on what mat <laughs> cat is a mammal is a relationship is there cat is a mammal <laughs> then a bird is an animal now whether we have the bird uh, keyword uh, sorry object created yes here no. bird sorry. is animal then all mammals are animal mammal object all the created all mammals <clears throat> are animal so where is the all this is this is here yes okay here must be uh, r is also okay doesn't matter mammals have a fur fur manje kay prane je angavar che case ha so oh. here mammal have or has fur and this is nothing but the semantic network simple understood this yes sir so this is the another way of knowledge representation that is with the help of the semantic network let's move towards the next one that is the last one that is the frames what frame now frames 
now you must have studied in the c language that is the structure or the record so frames are record like structures okay where which have the certain uh, uh, attributes like it has the slots and the slot values so frames can be uh, written frames as a uh, record like structure can be written with the help of the slots and the slot values okay now what this slot indicate what do you mean by the slot now slot in the frame specify the characteristic of entity keep in mind what slot indicates the characteristic of entity which the frame is representing and within that slot we have the attribute value pair within that slot we have the attribute value pair so just you have to keep in mind frames are not frames are another way of knowledge representation which is just like the structure and it consists of the slot and inside the slot we have the attribute value pair let's see the example see <clears throat> here you can see here we have the example okay this example we are having here in the exam you might be asked the things like you might have given the uh, what you can say you might have given the this kind of sentences what is this sentence read it raj sharma is manager by profession with employee id 100213 and he live in he lives in the dil understood now yes. this is the sentence given and we have to represent these with the help of the frames understood <clears throat> now as i said the frames consist of the record like structure and it it is being written or it is uh, represented with the help of the certain slot and the inside the slot there are the attribute value pair now what is the slot here now slot is nothing but this raj sharma okay now and raj sharma <clears throat> inside this you can see inside this we have written this uh, we have represented the knowledge okay now inside the raj sharma you have the another different slots are there profession is the one slot employee id is the one slot address is the one slot yes or no as i said slot indicate what the characteristic of that something yes or no slot name is what yes what is the slot name here yes all of you can see yes sir now let's see the example given like this and we have to represent it with the help of the frames now first thing you have to write Uh, when you are uh, representing the knowledge with the help of the frames is nothing but the slot name now in this statement what is the slot name this raj sharma is the our raj sharma now inside that slot name we are going to mention the slots and its attribute value pair <clears throat> now what are the slots which i have to consider regarding this particular sentence slot is nothing but what characteristic of something correct yes sir now in this statement we have the characteristic like the profession its employee id its mm. address these are the characteristic of raj sharma yes or no yes sir now that's why you have to mention here the characteristic or the slots like profession is the one slot employee id is the one slot address is the another slot got this yes sir and in front of that you have to mention its attribute value pair means rashma raj sharma is what by profession manager what is its employee id what is its address and that thing you are representing here that is nothing but i am calling as a value pair so by profession raj sharma is what manager so it, that is manager. value value of slot is what here the manager value of profession slot is what manager getting Yes. Value of the employee ID slot is what? This whatever the employee ID is there. This one. Yes. Then what is the value of address slot? Delhi. Delhi. This is simple representation using the frames. Getting. 
Yes. Let's take the another example. Here, this is being asked in the example also. Kitty is a yellow bird having the wings to fly. Witty is the yellow bird having wings to fly. Now, what can be the our slot name here? Witty. Witty. Witty is our slot name. What do yes. you mean by the witty? Witty. Bird is now a chimney. Sarke, go to the chimney. Sarke, okay, okay. Twitty is a yellow bird having now. What are its characteristic are given? Species, color, activity. Species. तो क्या है? But twitty actually क्या है? तो bird है. Bird. तो लेकर क्या है? तो bird है. क्या? Then another thing mentioned is what? Its color is color. mentioned. Then its yellow. activity is mentioned. Yes. Yes. So species, slot name species, and its value bird. bird. Yes. Slot name color and its value yellow. Slot activity and its value fly is another characteristic is there which can we which we can represent here as a slot and its attribute value player. Apart from these, wings. Yes, wings. that is the wings. Now for the wings, yes. then what what uh, slot name you will write? That is important thing here. Mm. Actually, wings is the value uh, value of something. Yes or no? Yes, sir. It is not the characteristic, so, but it is like the characteristic. But you have to uh, you we have to consider it as a value. So, birds are body parts. Just just like uh, for the bird. Just like for the bird, here you have utilized the characteristic as a species. For yes. uh, yellow, you have write the characteristic as a color. For the flying, flying is for the flying. You have write the characteristic as a activity. Active. For the wings. Now, wings, wings is a uh, what for? What purpose wings are being utilized for to fly? So right. wings are right. here. Wings are being utilized as an instrument. Am I right? Instrument. Barber, wings here. Yes. We utilize here as an instrument. Kasha sati. Fly, fly, fly. Fly, karna sati. So yes. here, instrument. You can write the slot as an instrument, and value you can wings. write here the value as a wings. Correct. Wings. Yes, sir. So in this way, you have to. Uh, Right, you have to. You can represent the knowledge with the help of the frame sums. Understood this? Yes, sir. So this that's it from the third unit. Okay, uh, where we have seen the different ways of the knowledge representation, starting from the proposition logic to the pro first order logic, then the In the first order logic, number of examples we have discussed in details. So mostly preferred knowledge representation is nothing but the first order predicate logic. Okay, as compared with the number of things that we have discussed. Here. Okay, I hope all of you got the third unit uh, completely. Uh, different points that we have discussed. If uh, any doubt, you can go through the lectures that we have discussed. Already, the lectures are available on my blog and the YouTube channel. Okay. Yes. Yes, sir. Okay, so yes, that's sir. it Thank from you, the today's lecture. Thank you all of you. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir.